1023. 1023. 1024. No call. Nothing. I talked to Noelle's mom. Noelle called. Megan's fine. They just stayed a little late at the mall. All right, all right. But I told Megan to call at 9 o'clock. I swear, the only time this kid ever listens to me is when she needs money. To her, I'm an ATM. Well, when she comes home, we'll calmly but firmly communicate that we're disappointed in her, but that we love her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she's going to listen to me. I'm just a whistling tea kettle, a noisy radiator. I thought you were an ATM. I'm a lot of appliances. <laughs> and she doesn't respect any of them. Oh, she's home. Okay, now, calm down. Now, Megan screwed up, but she's a very good student. She gets straight A's. She's on the student council. She's the head of the dance What are you, team. her publicist? She... You remember, disappointed, but we love you. Hi, night, love you. <laughs> Sweetheart, you were supposed to call us at 9. Oh, I thought you said 10. Well, it's 10.30. It is? Megan, you have a watch on, don't you? Uh, yeah. Well, what time does it say on your watch? Uh, my watch is broken. It's the correct time. I'm looking right at it. I meant the strap is broken. Then how is it staying on your wrist? How many lies did she tell in one conversation? really hurts my feelings that you think I'm a liar. Mom, here's your bracelet. Thanks so much. You're the best. We're disappointed, but we love you! Hey, Dad. Dad? Honey. Tony. Dad. Dad. Honey. Tony. Dad. 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 Listen up! That's better. Ever find it odd that we have a job where we wear makeup every day? Yeah. Especially two guys as masculine as us. Grant, the Scotchmore blush. You should play with the peach. Oh, you think? You're a summer. Let the sun in. Okay. You guys psyched to try the new opening? Yeah. What, what was wrong with the old opening, Paul? Hey, we love the old opening. The audience loved the old opening. It was perfect. But if we make it a little perfecter, then we'll all love it even more. <laughs> Can I get a what, what? 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 That's the spirit. Now, <laughs> black, 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 black. now uh, here's, here's the problem. Show starts, the two of you guys are just sitting here like, like lumps. What's that? That's my dinner with Andre. <laughs> Who's Andre? Nobody knows. That's my point. So, yeah, here's the idea. We start with you and uh, Bernie in, in silhouette. The announcer says, it's time to listen up. The lights come up. You guys jog over to the set like you can't wait to start. Very hip, very now, very... VH1. Okay, so take your marks. Paul, oh, come on. He looks like the big dog. I'm the fire hydrant. He's about to relieve himself. You're right. You need something to stand on. Can we get Tony a man maker? A box. Call it a box. Oh, boy, I get it here. I get it at home. You have to stand on a box at home? It's Megan. Cannot control her. She brushes off my disapproval like, like dandruff. Well, by the way, you got a little... Uh... Oh. How can this little hair produce this much debris? You know, and she's at a really scary age now. I, I know what happens from this point. I watch Maury Povich. Well, I gotta say, I never would have gotten away with talking to my father the way I've heard Megan talk to you. No, baby, he would have brought the hammer down. Oh, yeah? How you think I learned to run so fast? Brought the hammer down. Yeah, that's right. That's the key. Swift, certain punishment. There's been way too much talking going on in that house. It's time for Tony Kleinman to step up and be a man. Oops, amazing. I got it. Great old soda, ma. Thanks, honey. So you think you brewed it to yourself? I don't know what's going on in there. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Dad, can I have 15 bucks? For what? Well, you know that concert I'm going to this weekend? I was thinking about getting a second earring hole. That way, whoa, I can do a whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think I like the idea of you having any more holes punched in you. Drink a glass of water, you'll look like a sprinkler. Ooh, looks 
looks like we just found our new center square. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, for that disrespectful remark, you cannot go to the concert. What? That's right. No concert. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? I was just making a joke. Well, maybe you keep your little comedy routine to yourself next time, Miss Boozler. <laughs> Who? Elaine Boozler. Who? She's a comedian. Just drink the soda your mother made for you. <laughs> and you, you can go to your room. Mom? Do what your father says, sweetie. Time. I'm telling you, you should have seen the way I handled Megan last night. Your advice was dead on. What advice? I didn't give you any advice. <laughs> and when I told her she couldn't go to the concert, woof -a! Daddy came home last night and hell came with him. <laughs> oh, who'd she kill? She didn't kill anybody. She told a joke. What kind of joke? One at my expense. Was it really mean? Not particularly. Was it crude? Actually, it was, it was pretty well-crafted. You took the hammer to a well-crafted joke? Well, I'm not used to the hammer. Okay, uh, guys, uh, uh, silhouette idea's a no-go. Tony's shape makes you look like the number 10. So, uh, we're gonna go back to, to sitting, but just because we're a sitting doesn't mean we're not a moving, all right? Get, so you start with your backs to the audience, the show starts, you spin around, it's BAM! Two sticks of dynamite coming at you. Look away! <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. 